Hello drone video fans, uh, welcome to this 9 minute video on the Morgan Swamp Preserve. Uh, my name is Bill and um, I uh, learned about this uh, location uh, as I was doing a bike ride on the uh, nearby uh, uh, bike trails that I, I frequent uh, often and ride from Austinburg to Rock Creek. This uh, preserve is located between Rock Creek and Rome, Ohio. Uh, just west of uh, Route 45 and uh, we're flying over what is known as Bliss Pond and we're using the uh, XKX 380 uh, we're gonna fly around the perimeter right in front of us you see a platform or deck whatever you want to call it it's got some informational uh, plaques on it and at uh, one point uh, we decided to uh, stop and take a, a picture of, of one of those plaques and this is that plaque now so you can pause the video and uh, read some uh, historical information on the uh, conservancy, nature conservancy that's uh, here. Um, continuing on now with uh, just flying around uh, the, uh, the perimeter of the Bliss Pond. Um, this area can, contains a uh, quite a variety of uh, uh, interesting flora and fauna, different types of uh, plants and animals. I was kind of surprised to learn that they do have uh, beaver and spotted turtles, uh, salamanders, uh, uh, even river otters uh, around here. Off on the to the right side, about 100 yards uh, off the right side of the screen is the Grand River just for uh, give you a, a location coming up on another uh, platform here that's uh, stationed now these are for observation or even for fishing according to uh, the um, uh, informational uh, pamphlets that I picked up when I went to uh, one of the centers uh, and as you can see there's a uh, you know some kind of a pond growth uh, I guess that varies during different times of the year uh, and you know we're uh, just trying to uh, take everything in here in a, in a slow manner so that uh, if anything pops up uh, we can see it. There's some buildings in the back we'll get to uh, talking about those uh, a little bit later. Um, as we're flying along here uh, you know we uh, drift a little bit over here just to get a little uh, view of some of the uh, wild uh, flowers and plants that are uh, on the edge of the uh, of the pond here, and you can see way in the distance. Uh, I'm standing on the other uh, other other end of the shore. There are benches uh, located around the perimeter, so you know you can just come down here and and sit and take in the uh, tranquility. Talk to uh, one gal who is walking her dog on the premises and she uh, she says that you know there's not very much uh, human traffic around here as far as people coming out it's it's mostly uh, very quiet uh, you know sometimes they have activities scheduled uh, a lot of uh, hands-on and educational type things but uh, for the most part it's uh, uh, those things happen on weekends and during the week you can uh, come out here and be pretty much by yourself uh, now we're flying out uh, to what I was hoping to be the center of the uh, pond. And we're looking down now. You can see the reflection of the clouds uh, in the pond as well as my uh, UAV as I'm uh, flying upwards and see the ripples uh, given off by the uh, propeller. As this uh, pond is uh, shaped sort of uh, oblong, it's, you know, and we're just flying straight up. I probably should have uh, rotated the uh, craft and we're going to do that um, you know in order for it all to fit into a 16 by 9 uh, video shot but you can see the uh, that um, uh, platform that we passed uh, now coming to the uh, bottom part of your screen and the uh, trail or pathways there's many uh, nature trails short nature trails that you can walk along uh, to uh, see various things we're going to bring up the uh, the camera here in order to uh, show you some of the buildings, and we're going to we'll talk about each one of those. Right dead in front of you is the office building. Uh, to the left of that is a picnic pavilion. Of course, you see a playground area. 
off in the distance is uh, a gymnasium and uh, uh, there's also a newly opened uh, uh, Dr. Bissell Nature Center with uh, restroom facilities there. That's the, the newer looking building on the uh, right, well now it's right in the center of your, uh, of your uh, view. Uh, we also saw some uh, raptors, uh, uh, eagles, and uh, um, uh, owls uh, flying off in the distance. We're dropping back down here, going to get uh, closer to the ground and, and uh, take in some of these uh, facilities that they have. Um, if any of our parents, you know that sometimes you need to bring them out for, for an educational visit like this, and some kids uh, like... Uh, uh, bugs and water and stuff like that and, so, and some kids don't so they have a they have a playground here for the kids that would rather uh, play than than walk around a, a pond and and look at the uh, uh, interesting uh, plants and uh, bugs and so on and so forth you see that there are you know still some uh, wires power lines and so on and so forth so before I did any flying I I drove around and made sure that uh, I knew where everything was before I started taking in uh, any kind of uh, uh, flight pattern that I was going to do. So uh, this is, you know, right at the end of this road is where I saw the owl take off from the ground. That was uh, quite stunning. On the uh, left is, uh, I, I believe, is, uh, uh, is uh, some sort of a gymnasium facility. And on the right is the, uh, uh, the new... Uh, nature center with uh, restroom facilities uh, and uh, that's fairly new and modern they've got all kinds of pamphlets and brochures and uh, information in there on on upcoming uh, programs and and whatnot so you know that's where you would want to go if you wanted to find out more addition or additional information um, we're going back here now in a easterly direction we're going to cross over the pond and on the other side of those trees is the Grand River. Uh, many of you have been around my channel for any length of time, known that I've had uh, quite a few uh, videos of the Grand River in different stages and different locations. And uh, actually, there's a covered bridge uh, located fairly close to this location. So, uh, and it was featured featured in that uh, particular video. So, in order to be able to view it, we had to uh, rise up. Uh, a considerable amount probably uh, close to 200 feet in order to, to be able to pan the camera down then and get a, a view of the river but you can see the uh, the amount of forest forestry and uh, and trees uh, out here and I th you know the thing that stuck uh, struck me was that this would be a great place to come back and do a fall color shoot now we're aiming the camera down and you can see the uh, the Grand River is very uh, tranquil and still in this area. It's not running much at all. Uh, it goes over that uh, or underneath that bridge uh, and that bridge is what I went over and over to get here. This this location right here is about one and a half miles west of Route 45 just to sort of locate you. And uh, now that we got a, a, a quick look at the Grand River we're uh, gonna drop back down here and and get ready to land. So uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick trip out here to the uh, uh, Morgan Swamp Preserve and, and uh, Conservancy Center. Um, if you liked it uh, uh, or want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. Uh, we try to get up a, a new video uh, once a week, and uh, this one uh, was a pleasure to shoot. Thanks for stopping by and watching, and come back again soon.